You're watching EDS TV. Everyone got out with very minor injuries. Another truck behind the cameras got hit head on, but everyone involved was okay. Officers said that this was most likely a lack of alertness. That driver needs to go to jail for that level of reckless driving. If he clipped the camera, that would have been horrifying. The person is seriously going to hurt someone. The camera did stop and made sure everyone who had any damage got a copy of the accident. Unfortunately, I'm not sure whatever happened afterwards. They were probably still amazed and distracted by the vending machine at Don's. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. You gotta be kidding me. It's never a good sign when their first words are something like that. The camera admits he was wrong here and that this was a lesson learned. I'm slowly starting to realize that tow truck drivers absolutely do not care about anyone else on the road. Maybe too busy making their own customers. What the Porsche did is so much more egregious on account of them having a backup camera. How do you manage to hit a car you can plainly see? This is quite literally a prime situational example of why the horn exists. It's unbelievable how someone can be so oblivious to what's happening within their own little world. It looks like this was an expensive mistake. The rarely seen four-point turn. A three-point turn with one point of contact with a random car. Honestly, what was she trying to do? Looks like control confusion. I think the camera is better off letting them hit him. The dash cam footage might help, but I think insurance companies would normally view this as a one car accident and raise rates accordingly. This driver claimed he left because, quote unquote, we thought there was no damage, that's why I left. Long story short, the camera filed a claim and settled with his insurance. I can almost guarantee there was nobody behind the camera either. Roughly 98% of the time someone pulls in in front of me, there's literally no one behind me for a mile. One month into the camera's car lease and this happened. There was no visible damage to either of the vehicles, so he let this one go. I'm really surprised so many people here think the lanes merged, when it's clear from the beginning both lanes are straight and there are still two lanes by the time the idiot cuts the camera off. Oh. 
looks like a dangerous corner, difficult to see around, and rather than slowly pull out to see around it, they just decided to YOLO it and paid the price for it. They were so relentless that people started going into hiding. At the time, the threat level was literally unknown. He was very stressed out. It's like the extra security they had. That I can't stand people that blindly merge onto the highway or the ones that just expect highway traffic to yield to them. It's really not that hard. Get up to speed and then adjust accordingly so you can merge into the traffic smoothly. The black car just pulled the same turn and it couldn't back off 5 seconds to let someone else do it. This is synchronized stupidity at its finest. This idiot waited half a minute to check their mirrors to let a cop pass. Have you ever seen a cartoon where they're inside a car and the driver turns the wheel every couple of seconds to show that they're driving? This is how I would imagine it looks like in real life. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing because it really helps me. If you'd like me to feature one of your clips, please email it to originaldsdstv2 at gmail.com.